Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. It's Anna Louise, and for today's video, we're doing another Q&A because they are easy to do and they're fun. And it's fun to spill a little tea as well. So I thought it would be good to do, because um, I've been very, very busy lately per usual. It seems like just everything in life is super busy. So I figured this would be really easy and fun and hopefully enjoyable. So if you wanna hear some really fun questions be answered, then make sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit that bell notification so that you can be notified every time I upload a brand new video. With that being said, let's hop on right into today's Q&A. Alright you guys, so yes, I did do one of these very, very recently and I ask everybody um, over my social media such as YouTube and on Instagram, etc. Um, questions to be answered and I'm doing this also because honestly it can be very discouraging. YouTube, I have 12,000 of you guys and YouTube doesn't want to push out my videos and honestly it's very discouraging and so it's hard to prioritize YouTube over so many other things in my life when it's treating me like shit like if i'm being completely honest it, it hurts so anyway <laughs> um with that being said let's go ahead and get into the questions so first let's start off with the very first question and that is from austin and julia vlogs so they ask what advice do you have for someone who wants to be a youtuber p.s love your videos first of all thank you so much i really appreciate your compliment i love getting comments um and just sweet things because like i said youtube sucks it really does and it doesn't push out videos um so to hear the compliments it definitely makes me feel good but what advice do you have for someone who wants to be a youtuber so the advice i have is to just genuinely as like cliche as it sounds do what you love and what makes you the happiest because if you don't you're going to get burnt out and feel awful um like even if you think that maybe people would like something that you don't want to do don't do it because after a while things got to be so demandive on my channel when it came to fish from a lot of like younger like kids and stuff that i just felt burnt out and like i felt forced to have to do it and so like i wasn't doing a lot of what i really enjoyed anymore um and it kind of lost the luster so i definitely recommend that and also like take what people say with a grain of salt and try not to let it get to you because people are always going to have something to say but really stick with like what you truly want to do and what makes you truly happy because then what you want to do and what makes you happy it's going to show and then that's going to be what's really really good and so um don't be afraid either to grow and to change what you love and what you want to do and all that kind of good stuff because that's just part of being human and it's good to do so yeah i think that would be my answer to that question now we're going to move on to tori who asks what is the most inspiring moment to happen to you since opening your crystal shop so uh, that's so hard because every single solitary thing i swear is inspiring with my shop it's the love of my life like I love my crystal shop um getting to do my passion for a job is like the best for like my main job is the best best thing ever and honestly like I just I love interaction with customers I love the sweet things like when people do unboxings and they show me opening their crystals or when they leave sweet reviews um and message me and then, then they show their love and gratitude towards it it makes me feel so good inside like i'm making a difference and helping people and it just it really does mean a whole lot and um i enjoy every aspect of it and it's all inspiring because of that because of how much of an impact that it has made in my life um so what is the best advice to give someone going through a rough spot my best advice is is to know that you're not the only one and that so many people are even if they're not speaking out on it and that's why i believe it's important to speak out on these things so that people can feel not alone because we all go through things and it's hard when, when it feels like no one else is but it's also something that i try to tell myself and i try to repeat this it is not a bad week it's not a bad month not a bad year it's not a bad life it's not a bad constant it's bad in the moment but it will get better and I try to remember like all that together because it's hard to get locked up in oh gosh it's always gonna be bad so I try to break it down a little bit um, and I also try to talk to anyone that 
anyone possible try to do things for myself any little thing and take it like moment by moment um which is really hard to do but i have you know really been trying to work on that so my next question who that is from stasia is who is the most famous or person to follow you on social media yes Okay, so who's the most famous person to follow you on social media? <laughs> so, very fun. Um, the most famous person to follow me on any social media is John Cena. <laughs> it's so random. John Cena follows me on Twitter and he followed me first. I didn't even follow him. And before, you're, before you say anything, yes. It's the real John Cena. He's the verified one and he followed me over a year ago. And periodically, I'll still check and he still follows me. I, I don't know and then this person doesn't follow me but she liked one of my Instagram posts um a couple or quite a few years ago now but Khloe Kardashian Khloe Kardashian liked one of my Instagram posts once again yes the the real one but John Cena follows me so that's really interesting um so yeah and then Stasi had another question um that is kind of along the same lines and basically she asked if I have ever like been like hit on by anyone that is famous or a celebrity or friends with them or had any kind of contact other than just meeting them so to answer that sorry if you see me looking down i just realized it's not in frame i have my phone to read the questions um but anyway so they asked that and it is actually quite interesting me and my husband like to joke that i have two nfl boyfriends and it's just a joke because i have been hit on or liked by two separate men that are in the NFL so if any of you like football <laughs> um yeah so one of them I used to be friends with this guy and he had a crush on me and he was in the NFL and then but our relationship was when we were younger like friendship and I have like voicemails from him like we text we hung out outside of school he is in the NFL now um and then the other one and that was before he was in the NFL, but the other one hit on me while he was, it was before the NFL too, but he was playing college football. So he was playing college football and it was right, like a couple years right before, or like a year or so before he got actually drafted into the NFL. And he plays and the team he was in made it pretty far, like almost to the Super Bowl um, a year or two ago. And he plays for the, oh gosh, I'm thinking the 49ers, but I don't remember. But he hit on me on, on Instagram because my husband actually knows him because they went to school together a long time ago and i have followed him on instagram and i don't know why i reached out to him i was with my well me and my husband were talking about it and i said something about oh my gosh my husband you should play basketball or he played basketball with you today but like y'all know each other or whatever and he completely just ignored the fact that i said that i had a he was my fiance at the time and uh, this was before we got married. He ignored that and um, he hit on me and thought that I wanted to hook up and tried to like get with me. And so once again, I was like, <laughs> I have a, I have a fiance. And then after that, he like didn't answer, but he insinuated in a Instagram message, which I still have. And some of them are gone. Like some of them he deleted, but I still do have a really juicy one. And I have it saved because I like to giggle about it. And me and my husband joke about it all the time especially like when he hears people talk about this guy um we always have this running joke but he did he insinuated like trying to get with me and he was like oh when i told him again that i had a boyfriend or a fiance at the time before he stopped messaging sorry i'm like really trying to recount all this he was like oh i thought you were talking like oh I thought you wanted to get with me or like oh I thought you wanted blah 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 which yeah and I won't show the messages or anything cause I'm nervous I don't I don't know I don't want anyone to like see these but um I only feel comfortable telling you this guy's team which I think is the 49ers see I'm not even 100% sure sure but I think he's on the 49ers anyway that's the tea I just thought that was fun I wanted to sit down and answer a few questions that's all i really have time for because like i said i'm really busy you guys this week i go on a big trip to new england to new hampshire and massachusetts because i graduate from college this week so when you're watching this i will be getting ready to fly out there like when this 
week that it's starting because today's Sunday. But yeah, that is it. I really liked those questions in particular. Oh wait, I do have one more. Hold up. It's about my tarantula from Cat that you've been seeing videos on. Okay, so the question here is from Jennifer and she asks how is Winifred doing? So Winifred's doing good and she cracks me up, you guys. She tries to move her water bowl all the time from one part of her cage, sorry, I ran out of memory, but from one part of the cage to the other and she'll dump it over. I, I don't know, she hasn't touched the crystals yet, but she just makes no sense. <laughs> she loves to dump that thing over, but she's doing good beautiful as ever and yeah now that actually is finally the end of the questions so i can definitely do more of these more frequently i love getting the questions and talking to you guys about things spilling some tea here and there um so yeah definitely please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because i make all types of content and it would mean a lot to me you can do that by hitting my face right there you can watch another video by clicking right over here like i said it would mean the world to me if you would do so and i hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this and i'll catch you guys in the next one Mwah. bye